Good evening. We begin the news at six with day two of our week long exploring Idaho series. Yesterday, as you know, we were live in Riggins, nestled between the two deepest gorges in North America alongside the Snake River. Tonight, we're taking you some 125 miles south of there to a former mining and lumber town along the Payette River. It's home to just over 700 residents. Horseshoe Bend is named for the U-shaped turn in the Payette River, which changes its flow direction from south to north before it heads west towards the Black Canyon Reservoir. And Horseshoe Bend is where we find our Dee and Brian, unlike on the news at four and five, now with their feet squarely on the ground. Take it live, you guys. <laughs> We are, although I'd, I'd rather be up in the air, wouldn't you? Yes, yeah. it is a beautiful day out here. The skies are starting to open up a little bit. We had a few storms kind of move through to our north, but it is nice out here now. It's actually pretty warm, yeah. to tell you the truth. And Brian and I just have commented all day on how green the hills are around here. Take a look. Yeah, take a look at this. It's just, I mean, it's, you know, it's springtime. And it really is glorious today. I think this green is, is just spectacular. And it's all over the place. We noticed it in Riggins yesterday and all the way down through the I, or the uh, Highway 55 corridor. These mountains are just blossoming right now with the green, with the rains we've been having and the warm sunshine that would also help in that grow. So it is really starting to blossom out here. So if you want to take that in, you really should because we kind of take this you know this highway 55 mm -hmm. stretch a little bit for granted because it is so close to home for so many of you but let me just tell you this is uh, from highway 55 from eagle north to horseshoe bend then continuing on to cascade mccall and then ending ultimately at new meadows that is known as the payette river national scenic byway and every every mile of this is spectacular views of forested mountains peaceful valleys expansive blue lakes and a river famous for its turbulent white water. And if you take the time to stop your car, you're going to find plenty of turnouts along the way where you can picnic, where you can fish, swim, and do some nature exploration as well. The Scenic Byway is a 112 mile road trip well worth the two hours it takes to travel. And that designation as a scenic byway, a national scenic byway, means it's one of the most beautiful stretches of road in the United States. So you should take it in, and I'll tell you, if you if you drive up this way now, try to find a way to get up into the hills mm -hmm. and see the wildflowers. When we were up today with Zip Idaho, enjoying the zip line here in Horseshoe Bend, well, we just couldn't get our eyes uh, off of the wildflowers down below because they are blooming in force, as you can see. This is the Boise National Forest, and in the Boise National Forest, you have a lot of different varieties of wildflowers. The two that we think we were seeing today, Brian, I'm no <laughs> I expert. I was going to ask you what they were. I'm no expert, but wild hyacinth, pretty sure that was uh, the, the blue ones that you're okay. seeing there. And then the yellow ones, I really don't know how to say it. I think it's sticky cinquefoil. Oh, all my wildflower friends are going to say, no, that's not right. Where but, is Jim Duthie when we need him? But they look like they look like little sunflowers, but yeah. they just dot the hillsides right now. It's just so pretty. So wildflower season is here. It's a great time to get out, enjoy the scenic byway, and just really enjoy this part of Idaho. So 